Framer have just released a new HTML to Framer feature, which essentially allows you to take any element on any website and automatically copy that inside of a new Framer project. So in this video, we're going to explore that and test it out to see how advanced it can be. We're gonna look at some basic websites and we're gonna move up all the way to apple.com. Hey, my name's Ryan, I'm an official Framer mentor and I'm here to help you level up as a designer and make more money with Framer. Let's go. Okay, so here we are inside of Framer. Now, the first thing you need to do is actually install the Chrome extension, which I've already done here, which is really basic to use. So let's just go into a new project for now and we'll just set it up as a blank project. Okay, and let's start with any website. So let's just start with Zapier. Like, I think it's a great website. I think it is actually built on Framer too, so it'll be a nice Nice sort of like tester to see how it goes. So let's go up to our extensions and let's select HTML to Framer. And you'll see we've got this little pop-up in the bottom here. And now my cursor's gone all funky and it looks pretty cool already. So all we need to do, and you can see this kind of like as I hover, it's kind of like automatically trying to select the frames or the divs of these elements. So you can see like the kind of larger I get, like it's essentially taking the top level of the HTML or CSS and copying that as code and then pasting that into Framer. So for example, if we just like uh, take this section here and if we literally just click and I'll just press copied and it says I've now copied it, then go back to Framer and then just command V, as you can see, like it's just copied this section in here, which is like incredible. Now this kind of needs to sit in its own frame and I don't think it's like perfect in any way, but that's done a pretty good job. Like it's copied the styling and the text size and everything. And like, it's <laughs> like, this is a game changer. Let's try it again with something else on their website. This section's a little bit more complex. So let's copy this. And maybe this time we actually draw a new frame and let's set the width to be a thousand pixels and let's paste it inside of here. Okay. So it's not pasting inside of my frame, but that's relatively easy to fix up. You can see like that does a ripper job of actually just pulling that from frame art. Didn't seem to copy this section here, but that's okay. So let's try it on a little bit more advanced website. Let's take Webflow, which, you know, is ironic, I guess. And let's select HTML to Framer again. And let's make sure we've got this whole layout section here. And let's paste this in. Okay, wow, that's that's done a really good job. As you can see, it's not copying every element, but like this would be really simple for us to actually fix up in a matter of seconds. So if you're transitioning your website from a Webflow or a WordPress or wherever over to Framer, like I think this will speed up your process so much. Uh, like, I guess the downside to this is like, there's a lot of opportunity for someone here to like uh, quickly steal someone else's layout or website and be able to rebuild it or like sell it as a template or use it as their own. But I think in general, and you know, if we think positively about everything, like this is a really good opportunity for designers to work a ton quicker. Okay, so let's give this a final test and let's go to apple.com and let's see how this goes. So I kind of want to select a bigger section here. Let's try to copy the whole page and just see what happens. I don't have any high hopes for this because I don't think it's going to copy the right element, but let's see how we go. Okay. Well, <laughs> I mean, it did copy all those frames. It didn't do exactly what we needed it to. So I think the kind of trick with this is to kind of just do individual sections. So say if I want to copy this, I would just copy it like so. Because if I try to copy this whole section here, like, as you could see, it didn't really work super well. But, like, if I just copy that section, like, it does work pretty decently. And all I kind of have to do is just, like, resize this to my breakpoint. And it, like, it works. It works. Like, it works. Like, what do we, there's nothing else we can kind of say here apart from that it works. So one of the things I will say with this, it's not copying any sort of like effects or motions or anything like that, which is to be expected. It's essentially just taking the, you know, HTML and CSS and copying those elements and pasting them into Framer, which, you know, you can technically do already by going to inspect and, you know, going through all the code and trying to figure it out. This is such a clean and easy way of doing it that I think it's a huge pro for designers to actually speed up your workflow. Or better yet, I actually think it's a great opportunity to learn how other people are building their websites. 
especially from a functional perspective. Like I can see here, like there's a couple of different containers and how these are kind of laid out. Like technically, like this is a really sound website. And for me to literally just, you know, copy this as a component and then paste this inside of Framer, actually just to start experimenting with that, I think is really cool and really valuable. So that's a new HTML to Framer feature within, well, Framer. Uh, if you want more content like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel or check out the Flux Academy course on Framer, which is my A to Z course on mastering Framer so you can level up and make more money. Until next time, I'll catch you later.